what's going on lily how you guys doing i hope everyone is doing well thank you so much for tuning in to miss moves motivational tarot where i help you on your spiritual and my kids is dumb they be acting stupid thank you for um tuning into miss moves motivational tarot where i help you on your spiritual and your human experience they gonna make me curse them out every time. <clears throat> I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on a second. Sorry about that. So, how y'all doing, Libras? I hope all is well. I'm doing good, keeping my vibrations high. Lily, we do have a new moon as of the 20th. And Pisces. So if any of you have Pisces in your chart, you may be affected by this new moon. This new moon, all the description is in the community board chat for posting. I posted up some information. Definitely check it out if it resonates. Okay? All right. Ancestors of my highest good and light. Thank you so much for the the love, the clarity, and wisdom, divine protection from my crown chakra to my heart chakra. At the bottom of your deck, you have nine of cups. All right. I told everybody, Libra, everybody's getting affected by this new moon in Pisces. Just set your manifestations and keep your vibrations high and watch your wish fulfillment come true. <clears throat> Hold on. Let me shuffle the other deck because I am using two decks. A lot of you have been stressed on a heavy burden. Wishing for some help, I'm hearing. And a lot of you got some help coming in. Somebody's coming your way. Oop. Thank you, sir. Let me shuffle one more time. Okay, let's cut the deck. Thank you, sir. Bottom of the deck. Somebody from your past is possible. All right, let's go. Spirit, what is the current energy for Libra? Please and thank you. Between February 20th and May 20th, we have the Ten of Swords. So an ending. A lot of you have been stabbed in your back. I told you, you've been going through a lot. Um, <clears throat> with the Ten of Swords, there's the ending to the injustice. Okay, you have the Five of Pentacles. All right, so I mean the Five of um wands so there's an ending to a lot of uh conflict obstacles and challenges okay one more thank you spirit can we clarify the ten of wands with the five of wands that's a lot of action a lot of movement yeah so now you're going into your hermit mode a lot of you are tired i said that you're in your hermit mode, trying to get clarity, trying to get your life straightened out, trying to figure out what it is that's going to make you happy and get you back on track. All right? Let's clarify. <clears throat> your reading went totally different, but it's okay. <laughs> Spirit, can, it's just three cards wanted to come out. Okay, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Can we get a focus card, please, and thank you? Focus card, please, and thank you. Oh, you got the tree of life. I love it. The empress. See, a lot of you are going to get back on top because there's an ending. So that's your focus energy. Some growth. Maybe you have somebody coming in. I'm not sure. During this healing process, yeah, you have the will of fortune. I told you every sign is getting blessed. Some good things are coming in. Okay. So you definitely have that will of fortune that's unexpected. Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify what advice from Spirit for the collective Libra? Please and thank you. What advice do you have as they come out of hermit mode, as they go through this ending? Some of you are already in hermit mode. And now you're coming out shining like a star. <clears throat> Glowing, fruitful, ready to multiply. Thank you, Spirit. Look, you have the Daughter of Pentacles. Exactly. Ready to invest. Okay? You got an offer coming in. Hmm. What is the potential outcome with this offer? 
with this new beginning, with this strict, uh, stroke of good luck. <laughs> yes, thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify, please, what the potential outcome is? What card? Thank you, Spirit. Death, new transition. You're about to go to a new beginning, a new start. Okay, so we have death. Death is all about sudden changes. All right, so let's see. At the bottom of the deck, you have the magician. A lot of you are manifesting this new beginning. I love it. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. I already pre-shuffled, but I'll shuffle one more time. Cut the deck one time. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So, what I see here with the Empress, let's clarify the first three rows. Three cards in the first row. So, you have an ending to conflict and challenges, and you went into hermit mode. Okay? All right, Spirit. Can we talk about the hermit for the current energy? Can we clarify the hermit, please, and thank you? Can we clarify the hermit, please, and thank you? What clarity should the collective Libra receive in their current energy? Thank you, Spirit. What current energy? Oh, dang. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> yeah. So you feel stuck. You feel like, how can I get out this situation? And that's what I feel. Even though it was an ending, it's still some challenges because anytime you have an ending, an ending, you suffer loss, okay? Or you've been suffering loss. Can we clarify? Thank you, the Eight of Swords. Yeah. Getting a new start. Page of Wands, okay? So you're realizing that you're not stuck, that there is a way out, and you're getting this new offer that's coming in, okay? And when you do, it's just going to light up your world, and you're going to realize who the fuck you are, the Empress or Emperor, Take it how it fits. But a lot of uh, fertility, a lot of producing. This is a major arcana. The Empress is about creating something really magnificent. Okay, so can we clarify the focus energy with the Empress? What should they focus on as they stand in that element of the Empress or Emperor? I feel like this is you, Libra. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify? Thank you. We have the Three of Cups, okay? So I feel like you're going to be collabing with some people that are going to celebrate what? You should be focusing on being around the right kind of people to lift your vibrations. Go out and celebrate, okay? Oh, okay. So strategic, I feel like this is strategic. I feel like this is you remembering the swords in your back. Um, you left those behind, but you learned some lessons. You learned some lessons, okay? Let me clarify the seven of swords. Thank you. That's two cards, hold on. <clears throat> yeah, so you're up in your head. Yeah, you've been up in your head about whether or not you're going to get this Wheel of Fortune. And you get it twice because, look, the Wheel of Fortune is right here, okay? So I definitely feel like, um, you know, Spirit is advising you to celebrate and to really think about why you're up in your head. Because you go from the Eight of Swords to the Nine of Swords, okay? So first you're feeling stuck and now you're stressed. You're stressed about what? Um, the things that happened to you in the past. But what you don't see coming is this will of fortune. Okay? And I think that's why it's hard for you to come out of hermit mode and celebrate. Because you're still stuck in this energy. And spirit is advising you to focus on the big picture that's coming in. You don't even see this hidden will of fortune. Okay? Because it's here twice. <laughs> it's here twice. Back to back. You got double for your trouble. You don't even realize. Spirit wants you to get clarity. And look, the Empress is here. Oh my God, you're creating this. You don't realize your potential. 
Yo, I cannot make this shit up if I wanted to. You have the Empress here, right? In your focus energy. So Spirit is advising you as you celebrate yourself, as you connect with the right kind of people, um, you know, it may make you feel kind of fearful and look at people sideways because you've been hurt before and you're stuck in your head about that. And so um, I feel like with this Wheel of Fortune, um, this is all about, you know, being able to have like, how can I say this? Um, like a turning point, okay? You don't realize that you're at this turning point. You know, went through everything. And now you're at this turning point to receive the reward of surviving what was done to you in the past, okay? But then Spirit says, unexpectedly, you don't realize that you're bringing in this. This is following you wherever you go. You have luck, you have mercy, you have grace, you have good favor, okay? <clears throat> Libra, this is all about, you know, fertility, um, growth, okay? Standing in your power, strategically moving and creating, okay? And I think that spirit wants you to really focus on yourself. Focus on how you can make this happen for yourself, Okay, look, Hierophant, I can't make this shit up. Hierophant is saying, listen, I give you the key. I give you the key, okay? You have the keys to make things happen. Let's clarify the Hierophant for unexpected. Anything else for Hierophant? And then you have the mother of pentacles, growth and fertility. Some of you could be having a baby. I don't know. Just hearing that for a small select few of you. So can we clarify the mother of pentacles? That's like the queen of pentacles. Very solid, very resourceful. Okay. Someone that is very nurturing. Spirit is saying nurture yourself and then you have judgment. You have judgment and you have the will of fortune. So spirit is definitely letting you know that, um, you know, <clears throat> they're bringing this towards you. This is the mother of pentacles. Okay. I feel like this is somebody like you're going to meet out of that, out of those people that you are hanging with, you're going to meet someone that's going to come in and give you some type of answer. They're going to help you on your way. You don't even realize they are a messenger, an angel in disguise. Spirit, can we clarify judgment? Final decision. Boom, the world. And see, the world hits right before death. That's why I feel like you guys are definitely going to be elevated. Whatever message you get from this person that you meet as you out trying to, you know, just enjoy yourself and be around the right kind of people, you're going to be set on a path to start a new opportunity. This is the ending to not meeting the right people, okay? And spirit is judging that. <clears throat> so the potential outcome is death. And I feel like that is sudden changes. Death is about transformation. You coming from the eight of, Pen eight of swords to the empress, which is what you were always, okay? And then you come across a queen of pentacles, somebody who wants to invest in you. They're going to give you the final decision. It's going to open you up to a whole new world, okay? And you're going to realize something with the death. Let's find out. See, this is divinely guided temperance. Okay, patience. I feel like balance as well. Let's talk about it. Thank you, spirit. Yep. Spirit is saying I'm coming in to bring you your wish fulfillment. So hope, have faith. Okay, you had to sacrifice those people that were no good for you in order for you to receive this good favor, this, this wish Okay, it wasn't going to come to you until those people left. That's why you had to realize that in hermit mode. At the bottom of the deck, you have celebration. I can't make this shit up. Okay, you're going to be celebrating this new life, these new partnerships that you're having. 
okay? Being congratulated on doing the good work. Okay, I hope this resonated with you guys, Libra. Um, if it did, please leave a comment. Let's go ahead and pull some Power of Love Oracles to see what Devon want to tell you. <clears throat> Thank you, Spirit. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. New partnerships. Okay, you got the Will of Fortune and the Empress twice. I can't make this shit up. This reading is yummy. Thank you, Spirit. What is the overall energy from the potential outcome? <clears throat> Freedom. You're going to be financially free in every area of your life. Freedom from anybody that's um, feeding off your energy, feeding off your money, feeding off your time. You are releasing any self-imposed rest restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. You see this here? Didn't I say, Spirit said, get out of your head and go out and explore. Go out and have fun. And that's exactly what you did, even though you got back up in your head, but you did do that and and Spirit said, even when you got back up in your head, it's like going to be like ground. I don't know if y'all ever seen this movie called Groundhog Day. But um, every day he had to keep repeating the cycle until he got the clarity, okay? And I feel like Spirit is saying that even when you get back up in your head, that will of fortune is coming right back out with the Empress to remind you every day who you are. Some of you definitely need to remind yourself that you are you are capable of bringing in your abundance. You are capable of doing that just by manifesting, just by speaking the right way, just by trusting, having faith and depending on divine to bring those things to you, okay? And I feel like that's what they're saying when it comes to freedom. I'm going to pull one more card. You're going to be free. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Look, self-love, didn't I say? Focusing on yourself, you realize that the love of self is necessary to love another, okay? And I think that's what Spirit is trying to tell you, that you have to heal yourself from these heartbreaks and this hurt that you suffered in the past so that you can move on and have the right kind of connections, okay? And this is cooperation at the bottom of the deck. If your uh, quest to manifest the energy of love, you realize that every person and every experience had value. And that's what you're getting out of that. So congratulations, Libra, for those of you who did. I hope this resonated. Don't forget to hit the like button and leave a comment. I love you, Lilies. Y'all take care and be safe. Namaste. Bye.